Hello friends, welcome to my happy corner. This is my favorite corner in my house. I'm kind of redoing some of it right now, but I just love it. And I often do this type of video right here in this corner. So I just came in from the garden. You will have to forgive me because one, I'm incredibly hot and sweaty, but two, I can't share in detail what I just witnessed, but I just because I know kids will watch, do watch my channel at times, our channel. Um, and I just saw a really sweet, beloved animal of ours, a kitten, just get killed. And it was very, very sad. And I'm slightly still recovering. I'm not even going to lie. I lost it because this was one of my lovely ones that I think I'm keeping. Anyway, that is not why I'm, I'm on here today. I'm on here today because I'm going to start trying to do really short videos for moms about mama wellness and how I care for my kids. I'm going to preface that. I am in no way, sorry, you probably hear that shaking. I am in no way a doctor. I'm not an herbalist. I am just a mom who for the last decade and a half, probably about the last 15 years, I've been really involved with my kids' health in a very, very proactive way. I've taken classes, I've taken courses um, in homeopathy. I do a massive amount of reading about homeopathy and oils and um, um, herbalism. And those are always my first line of defense. With that said, always do your own research, consult a doctor. But I'm gonna short, start sharing, in, like I said, in short snippets, some things that we have learned over the last 15 years of ways that we have successfully treated things naturally. With that said, and I've said this before in other videos, I always have my threshold and I'm not against doctors. I am against the overuse of medication and um, not, I'm against us not knowing our bodies and how they were actually created to work. So always know that this video will be just a tiny bit longer because I wanted to preface it with that. Um, and I think it's our jobs as moms to be our children's voice. And I would rather inform the doctor about my child or myself than the doctor then try to, I mean, they're only human, try to inform me about different things. So, okay. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about bee stings. I'm gonna to talk to you about bee stings because we were recently um, at a campsite visiting my in-laws. Look at all that staining on my arms from the tomatoes. <laughs> Oh my word. It's probably the tomatoes also interacting with my bracelets. <laughs> but every time I go and prune, I thought I got it off and I'm realizing I have tomato stain all over me. Anyway, um, we were recently at a campground visiting my in-laws and one of my kiddos, one of my sons, he is seven. He was stung by a wasp. Um, normally I have my stuff with me that I carry. These are my, my first aid so to speak, in a natural sense. Um, and I didn't have it with me. And he came over and he showed me, he was a little bit shook up. He said it hurt, he actually didn't cry in the past. He has actually been stung multiple times. So I knew he wasn't allergic, but um, he just said, mom, it really, really hurts. Um, so I looked at his arm and there was instantaneously some swelling. So I didn't have anything. I can't believe I didn't have it with me, but I didn't. Um, and so I just started putting ice on it and just a little bit of pressure, just some ice and pressure. I was just scrambling to think of what I could do. My daughter got there, she's an EMT, and she goes, if that gets much bigger, and it was very hot, that was the other thing, it was very hot to the touch. She goes, we might just wanna go grab some Benadryl. Like I said, I knew that he's not a, like anaphylactic shock. I wasn't worried about that. Or um, I don't, he doesn't require an EpiPen, but I knew that I was just watching it because it was a wasp, but not just a bee. So, so let me tell you, if I had my stuff, what I would have done immediately, what I've done for years, and um, it has always worked for us. If your child needs an EpiPen, this will not work for you. Let me be clear. If your child needs an EpiPen, this will not work for you. This is for the person, the average person that does not require an EpiPen. This is what I would do. So immediately, I would take them inside, I would grab Apis mollifica. This is particularly for stings. It's homeopathy. I'm not going to go into all of the medical side. Like I said, I'm, my intention is for, for these to be short. I could tell you all about it, but I'm not. But it is for insect bites, 
it's particularly ones that swell. Um, and that was, that's what I always give. I give them two to three of these little things. You twist them out. They go right into the top and I pop them in their mouth and I will give those to them for about every 15 minutes for the first 30 minutes or until they start um, feeling relief. And then right after I'm done with that, I will take lavender essential oil and a cotton ball and I will put it directly. I don't dilute it at all. And I put it right on the sting within a few minutes. They should feel relief. That is what works almost all of the time. If it's a pretty bad um, sting and there's quite a bit of swelling, sometimes I will go make a, and the, and the pain isn't relieved from the lavender pretty quickly, usually within 15 to 20 minutes. Um, then I will go make a baking soda paste. And I just take baking soda and water, and then I put that on their arm. And within 30 minutes, they're usually just fine. It has worked for us for years. I've done it on myself. I've done it on all of my children that have been stung before. Okay, that's the natural side of what I do. Now, in the situation the other night, like I said, I didn't have any of my stuff with me. This is my homeopathy bag. That's where all of this comes into play. This, this is my oil bag. I keep them separately. You can also do research if you like to find out why you do that. Or if you'd like me to recommend books to you, I'm happy to do that. Um, but because I didn't have any of that with me, I just kept watching it for about 20 minutes and it kept getting bigger and bigger. So my husband just ran to Dollar General and he grabbed, um, he grabbed, oh, did I not put any in here? He get, grabbed Benadryl. I forgot to grab my, oh, no, here it is. Okay, I always keep a few of these in my homeopathy bag. The reason why I do this is because um, if there's any emergencies with any of my kids, now again, I'm not talking EpiPen emergencies, but I have a couple kids um, that one of my sons gets extremely bad um, seasonal allergies and we've worked through them naturally, but there are times that he still needs a Benadryl. I have tried everything under the sun natural for him since he was probably about three or four years old. And sometimes it works, but if it gets to a certain point, we still have to do Benadryl. So my daughter said, go grab Benadryl at the store. I don't want him to swallow it, let's just make a paste. So that's what we did. She crushed it up, put it with water, put a paste on his arm, and within about 15 minutes, the swelling was already starting to go down. So I always keep this with me in my homeopathy bag. So that is what we do for bee stings. Either one of those have worked very well for us. This was the first time I've ever had to do this, and I was so glad she had that idea um, because it helped him feel relief very quickly. And it was it was done within you know it less than an hour was pretty much gone so that is how we do bee stings um i'm going to go ahead and record a couple of these but i'm going to upload them at different times but you're going to see me in the same outfit because for time's sake and for very real life um that's just what i'm going to do so comment in the message or in the no, yeah comment in oh no comment in the comment section is what i'm trying to say leave me a comment what do you do is there anything natural that you have found to work for in particularly bee stings um one more time, I'm not talking about for people who have such severe allergies that they would need an EpiPen, but is there anything that you have found that worked for you? Share, I would love to hear it. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. And yeah, until next time, see you later.